something that will convince the core crowd and Martin Luther King and Joe Rao that if they want to help Goldwater, okay, they can go this way. What they'll do, they'll bring it up on the floor, they'll have a roll call, uh, the, the uh, uh, northern states will probably prevail. Uh, New York and Pennsylvania and California and Ohio and uh, Michigan cannot afford to have it said that they are for the governor of Mississippi who murders children and uh, uh, against the Negroes in their own town where they got 20% Negroes. That's right. Uh, so they are in a hell of a shape. So we throw, throw them out. And when we do, we write a blank check to him, 15 states. Yeah. I, don't think that, I don't think that's a wise thing. I don't believe the Negroes won't do that for Goldwater. But if they do, well, we just might well uh, uh, recognize well, now, that. Let me, Mr. President, just let me say, first of all, I haven't bought the argument of the, of the other fellows. I've met with them and listened to them and fought back with them. Uh, their argument is that there will be no roll call votes at the convention if everybody is seated. Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, everybody, just seat them all. That there isn't going to be any fight at the convention and make it a kind of a united convention and, and, and just don't make a point of it. If you have a delegation over it, has a Mississippi banner that's made up of Negroes and, and a governor over there, you've got to dilute those. And hell, the, the first thing the governor does is say, this is not right, and I want a roll call, and he's one of 15 states that demand it. Yeah. All right. He's not, he's not about to sit there. You don't think Jim Eastland's going to be willing to have another Negro senator come up here from Mississippi and be co-chairman of the judiciary, do you? No, sir. Of course not. Well, all right, I'm just telling you what, what their particular argument was. Now, we came up with another proposal, which I'm trying to sell, namely that we seat the regular delegation and that we, and that we have as an alternative the establishment of a commission within the party to take a look at this whole business. I think that's all right. Now, we're going to try to sell that, but I want you to know that... And they could, if they want to, they can say that they're going to enforce the hell out of this rule Yes. The Humphrey the battle rule that yes. you've got to agree to put the electors' names on the ticket. Well, I, I agree. that We've got good legal grounds on that one. Now, then, you, then you are on sound ground. But now the question is, who is going to get the Negro group before they get so committed? I saw Rao on television last night. I saw him on television the night before. They, this uh, communist group is calling everybody. They, uh, uh, You know what, John Conley? I've been telling John Conley what a great man you are, and John Conley likes you. And Marlon Sandlin is a great friend of his, and they're all your friends. He said, my God almighty, the worst thing could possibly happen. And every delegate got an ADA letter yesterday telling them where to head in, and Hubert's name's right up on top of it. And tell him to please bury those letters and quit sending them to Southern delegates. That if they want to, if they want to stir up a route, it's the worst thing could happen. That's what he called in last night. And, uh, uh, of course, I never send any letter. Of course not, but ADA does, and your name's up. Um, you follow me? Yes, I do. And they got no influence with the Southern delegates. They haven't got a damn. They don't want to be sending a letter to Arkansas. Four of us won't accept the president's invitation to come to dinner next Saturday night. That's how bad it is. Georgia's wobbling. Uh, Louisiana said thank you very much. Alabama, Mississippi said hell no. We don't know about South Carolina. And if they won't sit down in the White House quietly with the president and his wife. You can imagine how much effect the ADA letters going to have on them. Yeah. So please tell those boys to quit sending letters to Southern delegations. It just exposes their hand and makes them mad. Well, I'll have a meeting today, Mr. President. I, I was going to call you this morning. I knew I needed to talk to you about this. I don't want you to think I haven't been at it. I have. I don't have as much control or influence of these people as I would like. They're under a lot of uh, other influences, as you well know. I have been in touch with Farmer. I haven't been in touch lately with uh, with King because I just haven't had a chance to get at him. King has gone to Europe today. His man Ruskin is calling. Yeah. Uh, they are demanding that this be made the big fish. Now I think that you ought to talk to Joe Ryan. You ought to call Walter Ruther Detroit and say, now what do we do? To get these Negroes together. Can you can you call them together? What what can you do? Should I call them together? Should the president call them together? I'll call Walter. Uh, got to find out how we can get an agreement here that we don't uh, bring this thing out and fight it. Now, it's not going to not gonna take any money out of my pocket. If they want to run off these 15 votes, they can run them off. 
It's that simple. I don't think that's what they want to do to go water. But if they do, uh, we ought to tell them to please don't do it and fight them and do the best. And I'm going to stand up and fight to, uh, to seat the regularly elected delegation from Minnesota and the regularly elected delegation from Utah and the regularly elected delegation from Mississippi. I'm not going to seat the Alabama delegation if they raise hell about it. Uh, unless they put my name on the ticket, because yes. I, I would be violating my own rules. Yes, sir. And that's where they ought to get their out. All right, that's what we'll try. I'll get Walter immediately and ask him to come in here. Ask him, tell him this is an urgent thing, because it, it could break up this convention damn quick. I know. And uh, uh, I don't think it, they, they're not he hurting me. They just uh, help him go on it, that's all. Yeah. This is nothing personal. I think you ought to do that, and I'll meet with him. Or, uh, I, I, I think that we ought to get few liberals together and get them on the phone and say to these liberal delegations in Minnesota and in Wisconsin and in California and the District of Columbia, and that's about all they are. Yeah. Uh, Wagner and Daly and Lawrence and the big states all want to seat the regular ones, but these other boys are putting the pressure on them, and if they get a roll call, they get a poll in their delegation, and Pennsylvania says they'll stand up. But uh, then Dave Lawrence said, well, now, when Joe Clark sees a few Negroes, he's going to get wild, and he's going to demand a poll. And then Joe Barr from Pittsburgh, he's got 21% Negroes in Pittsburgh, and he's running for re-election as mayor. So he's going to say, hell, I can't be on record in Mississippi. So the Pennsylvania delegation is going to blow. Yep. And that's what's going to happen. And the Illinois delegation will blow. Yep. Well, I will make it my business to put a man again on it. I have him. I've been using Max very effectively on this. I thought he'd been doing good. But Joe is just, uh, I don't know, I'll put the arm on him again today. Tell him what you better do is that we, we better just uh, uh, really uh, try to see if the Negroes uh, don't realize that they've got the president, they'll have the vice president, they've got the law, they'll have the government for four years uh, that will be fair with them and will be just with them. And why in the living hell do they want to hand shovel gold water 15 states? Yeah, that's the only thing I see from it. Do yeah. you see any good that can come from it? Can't give us any votes anywhere? Not one damn bit of good. Not one bit. Uh, we're just not dealing with what I call emotionally stable people on this, Mr. Uh, President. If, uh, if we, on the other hand, have a fight and win, and we support Mississippi, it seems to me that all the poor Negroes and in Atlanta and in Harlem, they'll say, well, Johnson and Humphrey, look at them. They stood up to Mississippi Convention, so we haven't got much choice between Goldwater and That's right. Them, and so we just won't vote. Well, we got to settle it before the convention. I know. And Clayton Powell called up yesterday and said he'd been looking at Goldwater's voting record, and it wasn't too bad, and he wants a little payoff. And that's already started talking. Martin Luther King said, well, I'll tell you this. And, uh, uh, between Mississippi and uh, uh, these things, or Johnson, well, I don't know, uh, maybe the members won't vote. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to We vote. can't let it get to that point because we're going to have a hell of a time having with a unanimous force. I know it. Okay. All right. Are you going to call me back tonight and tell me what you think? Yes, sir. All right. Bye.